Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I asked on Instagram if people wanted to see me using my Hobonichi Cousin, um, which is memory keeping, so it's not like a planning thing that I can do for a week in advance because I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, not in terms of you know how I'm feeling and the, the things outside of work that I'm doing. So I thought I would um, give that a go right now uh, here on camera. I have this pouch that I'm emptying because I do this every single time. The pouch is from Create With Pen and I adore it. And I keep it chock full of um, the things that I want to use in my cousin. I'm actually going to remove these sticky notes for the moment. So I've got all of these washi samplers um, that people have sent me or that I've bought on D-stashes um, or ones that I've made myself and need to top up. I'm going to put that over there actually to top up. Um, and then just bits and pieces. Look at all this washi. Oh my goodness, so much washi. Um, and I'm kind of feeling like I will use the washi from here. Big pocket full of die cuts. I'm going to do, do a video on die cuts at some point as well in the near future. Um, right, so I'm trying to use up the washi from my D stashes before I get to the uh, washi that's in my dispensers. So um, that's why I carry them all around in this pouch. Then I've made all these little pockets from digital. So this is a digital I bought from Tickle Pink Planning. So I made this pocket to fill up with all the goodies. I made this one from a Coffee Monsters Co. Um, digital, which is just my life. This is one of my own um, pockets, of course. You may recognize the spring watercolor, and I keep some, I keep my um, PR team ones in there. And I have this vellum envelope that I bought years ago, which is full of other bits and pieces, if you know what I mean. Just so much stuff. So I thought I'd just take you through my process of how I approach my cousin. Normally it's in the evening. Right now it's like the middle of the day on a on Monday, International Women's Day, which is also a public holiday here in Melbourne. So um, here's what I normally do. Um, so I've got this tickle pink planning vinyl on the front of my of my cousin. I've got this jelly cover, which is pale pink, but it's over a um, hay Santa crepe paper vellum as well. Uh, inside I have this Grateful for Life and its magic vinyl sticker that was gifted to me by Zainab from Point Blank Co. Stationery. A little simply gilded bow and then a little magic that I made with Denise on the silhouette. Some washi from Hobby Hoppers and this Coffee Monsters Co. 2021. I'm going to fill this up as time goes on. I have, like I said before, tons of die cuts that could potentially go in there. I have this dinosaur that I bought from... Um, can't remember. Sorry. And she sent me... Oh, I can't remember. She sent me this one as a little bonus uh, giveaway as well. I thought they went together very nicely because he's loving his body there. So cute. And then I've done walkthroughs of this planner a few times, so I won't get too excited about this, but, you know, our yearly spread with... Um, uh, sticky kit from Arabea to sort that out and then for my yearly page I'm just um, using it to track a few things so what I would do is take one of my clean color dot pens and this month we're going with um, the teal one it's called ocean I think yeah there it is it's called ocean you can see there uh, and I'm just marking off what's happening um, in each day. So um, I, I know I can put a spot here. And then the rest we will see how the day progresses because it's only early and old. So I'll come back to this tonight. So then I have my monthly section. So if I just move to March, um, you can see I've decorated with rainbows because why not? This is from Fox and Cactus and these are from um, create with pen and this rainbow one here is from every minute of story and what I do in my monthly is just put down one little emoji a day and I'm uh, exclusively using Coffee Monsters Co emojis and then writing something very short to describe what was happening that day so I will grab out my entire stash of stickers and I'll just go through them all 
and pick out something that really matches the day. Now yesterday was a pretty lazy day. I didn't do too much. Um, oh, couch potato. Perfect. I'm going to use one of these because I really didn't do much besides sit on the couch and watch TV. So here's one with some popcorn. I didn't have popcorn but let's pretend and I'm never too particular about the colour on this page. I might be in the weekly but on this page I'm not. And then I'll write something about the day as well which I'll come back and do that later. Um, now today's Monday and um, Helen has made this set of uh, in influential women emojis and I think these are excellent so so useful um, and so important to do so I'm going to pick one of these for today um, I did kind of want to photograph this sheet so I'm going to choose Malala because you know I recently um, had my Malala fund Kiki K planners come through so um, she's kind of in my mind at the moment so I'll put her there and then I'll write something tonight about what happened today on Monday so it'll probably be um, revolving around filming because I've done a few videos today okay so then we move to the weekly so the next thing I do is come to my weekly spread which is the my favorite place in this planner I absolutely love 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 the weekly spread in my planner I'm capturing my sleep uh, and then I capture what I do each day as well which is just so uh, I just love it I can't explain to you enough how much I love this particular page so um, let's put some things down for Sunday I think you can so notice here I've got a little um, strawberry milk fold out here which is from Sakura Mochi Design Co. I'm um, on her PR team so um, I'll put my code in the description for you but what I love is I've put in here my uh, social media statistics right now on the 7th of March um, because I always forget to do them at the end of the month so I thought let's just pick a day any day and just do it so um, let's go ahead and put some stuff down for Sunday I know that my morning started with coffee so I'm gonna grab a coffee sticker and I have I reckon I have coffee stickers from every single one of my um, sticker shops in here in fact in my sticker storage I have a coffee section as well which um, uh, I'm going to consolidate probably all this into one of those boxes I think but in the meantime, I'm just going to grab a coffee one. I know it's one of these tall ones. Well, I might save... Actually, I'm going to use the Gamer one because I did a lot of Animal Crossing yesterday. So I'll use the Crew Motion Design for one of those. And I'll get a different one for coffee. Let's see what we have in this little envelope. I reckon... Well, let's use the toast as well while we're here. Um, ah, perfect. I'll use one of Arabea's little cups. I just adore these. They're so pretty. So I'm just going to put a little cup at the top there and I'll write something about the morning and how that went. Um, and then I went to Bread Club, my local bakery, and picked up a really, really lovely loaf of bread. So I'm sort of tempted to use them on the massive ones, but I don't think I will. I'll use a small one. So, yes, we went there after walking Gidget. Actually, Gidget came with me, and it was quite late in the day. I reckon I was a bit slack getting organized yesterday. As opposed to the day before where I got up at 5, I used this alien because I just felt like an alien all day from being up so early and not sleeping. All right, so this is my little gamer, um, Life of a Gamer sheet. I adore these. I'm probably going to have to get another set. But I also have picked up um, others from other shops as well. So, so many um, Animal Crossing stickers here. So, where are my luscious labels tweezers? Um, I'm going to put this down in the afternoon because I did spend a bit of time on that. I was also watching New Amsterdam so um, maybe I'll put it on this side and I'll put a TV style one 
um, up there. Where did you come from? In here. Uh, what have I got? In the back of here I've got my every minute of story. I don't think I have TV related ones in here. These are so cute. Um, this one is, but it's a bit big for the spread that I want to use it for. Um, this sheet is a sort of sampler one, but I reckon I've used the TV one already. Okay, so I don't think that one. I need a Netflix one, actually. I don't think I've got... Ah, let's use this little Raphael um, glasses sticker just to indicate lots and lots of TV. That makes sense. And that's really it. That's all I do. So I'll zoom you in so you can have a look. Um, I would probably, if I was on my own, I would write this, put this in and then write whatever I need to write and then put the next sticker in and write. And it may, it may not look like this if I did this on my own, but I'm happy with how it looks. I'm just going to fill that out now with all the things that are happening. Um, but what I wanted to do with you now is set up this week, the week of the 8th of March, which is International Women's Day week, which is today. So, um, I have this set um, here of um, all the girls from Coffee Monsters Co., um, I think I, I have the villains one as well. And, you know, we should probably celebrate our female villains because, you know, they're out there <laughs> doing their thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to use this. Hopefully I've got enough on this um, sampler card. I don't believe I've used any from this sampler card, from this particular one before. Oh, I just love it when it's rainbow. Okay, so if you know me, you know I don't like to... Um, I don't like to t cut one person or emoji in half, so I'm just going to tear that so that she doesn't get cut off. But at this end, one already has got cut off, and I know that I've got a little bit extra. I'm just rambling at this point, sorry. So I'll just cut that off. I didn't bring my scissors with me to the table like, like a rookie. So I'll put this here. Sometimes I go below the line. How about I get in frame? Um, sometimes I go below the line, sometimes I go on the line, so I'll go on the line today. And there they are, look how pretty they are. And then I'll do the same on this side as well. And I actually don't know who all of these people are. How slack am I? Uh, so on her website though, she tells you um, who fills the washies. So that's very handy to know. All right, I'll put that one across there like that. And then I like to just put something at the top as well. So there's this gap here. So I often like to just put some washi in there. So let's have a look at what we have. Um, emojis are high on my list. So most of these um, washies are Coffee Monsters Co. because I'm obsessed. Um, but I do have this one that Hannah from Hannah's Haven sent to me. So I'm thinking I might use that. Um, I love this Stardust one here. I'm thinking I might use that one. Although there might not be much of it left because I've used it quite a bit. So if I can't fill the spread with it, oh, I reckon we'll come close. All right. Let's just make it work. I'll just make it a little bit shorter than I was going to and make it work because it is very pretty and these international women deserve to be scattered in confetti. There we go. It doesn't quite go to the end, but that's okay. I'm thinking I might put... Um, put one of the international women uh, influential women uh, stickers down so um, I'm going to use another one of these this week I'm going to use Rosalind Franklin because she's a scientist and I'm a scientist so I'll just put her up there so that she kind of fills in that little gap and normally I would put a little strip of emojis across here like like I did like I did last week and like I do most weeks I put something there. If it's not a strip of emojis, which it usually is, then it's 
something quite similar. So um, I also like to just highlight, I know it's already highlighted by Hobonichi, but I like to highlight it again with the colour that I'm using, even though that colour is a bit strong for this planner, but not for this page, but that's okay. Um, okay, stop rambling. Um, I might just put something small across there. I just have this last little bit of these critters, so I might just use them because they're the last ones on the dispenser thingy here on the card. And we'll just put those across there like that. Let's zoom us in a little. Now, I really am enjoying my sleep tracker, so I'm going to put another one of those down. And I've been using either one of these lovely, yeah, let's use it, but one of these lovely mine um, stickers about sleep. So there's this one, open, just counting sheep. This one, just looking at the phone um, or just being mournful about not being able to sleep. I might go to this um, counting sheep one today. Um, I'm just going to put it here to the mm, here. I'll put it on this side. And sometimes I write sleep. Sometimes I don't. Oftentimes I don't by the looks of it. See, sometimes I have been. So I think I will. I'll just write sleep there. And we'll just draw out the tracker. I'm not going to use this thick pen. I think I'll go back to my planner for that. And I just write on the line 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And then hope there's no less than 5 hours sleep. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, this is probably a little bit backwards but it's for me so it doesn't matter but um, on Monday morning I track how much sleep I had the night before so it's not like Monday night it's it's the next day so believe it or not I had eight and a half hours sleep last night first time in ages so it's no wonder I'm actually getting some stuff done today hey love it um, and then I'll put in a little separator. I'm wondering if I put one of these washi strips here. Like this little simply gilded one just across there to fill in, well just to separate. And then the underneath each week just changes and I don't set it up as such on the first day. It's just kind of whatever speaks to me throughout the week. I might put something there. So uh, last week I just put a sass a day keeps the basic away <laughs> um, uh, and some other little stickers. The week before I put this better things will come from um, Arabea. Um, and then sometimes I put a little, just a highlight of the week, meetings, a saw back, erase hard drive. <laughs> so that was quite a... Um, random week right so um, it depends on what's going to happen or what happens throughout the week but actually I like that idea this week so I'll grab my set of stickers from Mia Land oh I love these so um, I do like really like her little um, uh, to-do lists so there's a couple of types there's this one um, which I don't think is what I want to use today because I don't want really to do a to-do. I want one of these types, which is the um, just a list. But I have new ones that I got recently. Ah, oh, chopsticks. I meant to use those. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no, I did use it. Yay. Um, where did they go? These ones. These little dino, Mr. Dino, Mr. Dinosaur floral checklists. So I'm going to use one of those. 
down here just as a what happened this week um, what were the highlights slash lowlights of the week and I might put it right down the bottom which then allows me a gap to fill in something else there so um, then I would go about filling in my day so I'm not going to do that because I really would prefer to do it at the end of the day once I really know what happened but I am going to grab one of these Tickle Pink Planning YouTube stickers and it's now two o'clock I've been filming since about I don't know 12 30 I think so I'm gonna put her here and I will just write what I filmed in there so I definitely know that's happening this morning um, was a sleep in and stuff like that so it'll be some sticker that kind of relates to that um, but I don't really I, I'm not gonna fill that out right now okay so that's the weekly section and as I said I absolutely love how it turns out it's so much fun and I it I can't tell you enough how much it just makes me keep coming back to this planner absolutely adore it so then for my dailies the dailies are an extension of the weekly basically so the, the monthly has a tiny snippet the weekly is step by step what happened throughout the day but then the daily is where I'm going into detail about what happened and how I felt and you know all the blah 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 stuff so um, uh, that's um, what is happening in here and so I, I haven't done yesterday yet as you can see I'll probably do that um, after this video maybe uh, but um, I keep it pretty simple I'm still kind of deciding how I want to do these days in here the dailies in here but um, for the moment this is what's working just some washi. I might put some at the bottom as well, this one, on this particular day. Now I'm going to use the villains. There, there are men and women amongst the villains, as there should be. So um, I know it's International Women's Day and I just don't want to use all that washi up because I don't have a lot of it. So I'm going to use the villains instead. I think I have a couple of sets of the villains. So it's really pretty basic, right? I don't do much else other than just, um, I'll cut that off later with some scissors, then just fill out, just put something at the top to decorate and then I will fill out the day as as it, as it goes, basically. Um, I, what I might do though, I'm gonna grab this dispenser of Create With Pen. I wanna use this purple one to put underneath there, just because there are, I don't know if you saw, but there are like purpley pink hearts, I'll show you in a sec, um, inside of that washi and I really want to try and bring that out with a little bit of the purple here underneath it. Now washi on herbanichi paper, you've really got to be careful not to, see how that's curling up? I pulled the washi tight and now it's making the page curl up so you have to be pretty careful with it. Um, to make if you want it perfect now as you can probably tell I don't care really that much about perfection uh, in this particular planner okay so some washi across the bottom I actually am thinking I might want to go and get some other washi from my stash because this is all a bit too character -y. okay so I'm actually going to use one of mine these are washies, if you didn't know, um, created from my photographs and I want to use this particular floral one along the bottom here because I really love the way it looks um, to separate uh, out the bottom of a page. I might just make it longer than it needs to be because I want to capture the whole flower. And yeah, like I said, I like the way it frames the bottom of the page so let me put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing I'm just going to lay it out right to the edge because I know it's too much and just put it across there and I'll cut that off as I said a bit later so yeah that looks so pretty 
Okay, and on this page, while I'm here, I grabbed um, my stash of superhero washi uh, from Hobby Hoppers. This is licensed um, superhero washi. And I'm thinking the women, uh, sorry, the Wonder Woman character uh, comic strip one might be good to use. Even though yesterday wasn't International Women's Day. I don't think it matters. I think it's just nice to use. So I'll put that across there like so. Okay, so you can see I don't really bother making the two pages match each other. It's more about how I feel on the day and or what's happening on the day as well. I'm just going to commit to the slice tool. I'm just so useless with the slice tool. I never managed to... Oh, that worked fine. <laughs> I just have trouble um, either not cutting my page. I mean, cutting my page is a real problem. That seems to be what I do the most. Oops, we lost a bit of footage there again. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this camera. Um, anyway, I was just saying I've put down Marie Curie as my influential woman emoti um, for today. And um, I'm finding my dailies some days, if there's not much happening, it tends to be a little bit of a repeat of the weeklies rather than being an extension of the weeklies. Some days I'm good, I'll write something um, more than usual. Like I'll, if it's a day that's pretty boring, then I'll write about how I'm feeling about something. Um, or how I would like to plan to do something or um, you know something like that so what I might do today is write something about Marie Curie maybe look her up and find out something I didn't know um, I don't know but, but I am going to do that I'm going to write a little something about um, about her there for International Women's Day so that'll be nice and I might post that on um, Instagram before I fill out the rest of my um, daily Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, I hope that was interesting. I'm not sure. Like I said, I I don't normally um, share this so much because it is pretty personal. The, the dailies in particular are quite personal, so I tend to not share them quite so much. But I'm very happy to share my weeklies with you. There's nothing in there. If there is, I just cover it up with a cute little sticker or something. So, And it's not, you know, super personal. Um... And work stuff I don't um, put in here anyway, unless it's just little things like we went out for birthday lunch or whatever. So, yeah, the weeklies are not super, super personal. I keep the more private stuff into the daily section. So, happy to share it if you find this interesting. I'm just not sure how interesting it is to see stuff that's already happened. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and write all that in on camera. I think that would be a bit boring to watch. So, let me know what you think, though. I'm super keen to hear from you. As you can probably tell by the lack of other plan with me's on my channel lately, this is where I'm at. This is this and my weeks are just working so well for me. I could probably move the weeks back into a, pl a ring planner and that wouldn't bother me so much, but I just love the size of it. It's so easy, so um, unobtrusive. You know, taking a big ring planner into a meeting at work is just a bit, I don't know. I, I just feel weird about opening up and writing in it, which is, I shouldn't, that's just silly, but I kind of do. Whereas this, even though it's pink and covered in cute characters and the word magic and hollow foil, <laughs> that doesn't bother me. I'm super happy to take this into a meeting and start writing into writing in it. Um, I don't know about this week now that I have it decorated, whether I would do that, but although I'm writing in the notes section anyway in here, so that doesn't matter so much. Anyway, this is not about the weeks. There's another video about the weeks if you want to go watch that. Um, but, yeah, loving it. I have a couple of kits for the monthlies. Um, so I might use one of those next month to set up April. We'll see how we go. Um, but for the most part, well, for all parts, this planner is just perfection. I absolutely love it. And it's the first planner where I have actually 
100% come back and and there's no empty spaces like I haven't left pages in the dailies where I haven't filled it in I haven't got blank weeklies it's all filled in because I love coming back to it every day or every couple of days just to fill it out and I don't know that's weird for me because it's a lot of work to do a lot of things happen so um, it is kind of weird that that's the preference for me whereas doing a plan with me at the moment like setting up a ring bound planner just I don't know it doesn't have the same draw for me as this does although I do want to do one um, shortly because I am going to um, do some more work on the shop soon just finishing off a few big things at work and then I can refocus on the shop again so that's what my ring planner is for plus um, actually I have a new one coming <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't resist it but it's a little bit different so I'm hoping that is what will draw me back into ring planning world um, I do have my one little word planner in my um, Malala fund Kiki K planner that is being used routinely for that purpose and my dream life one is as well in the background I really need to do a bit more work on that as well so um, that is what's happening in that land so there'll be a video soon about that and um, I'll take you on the little journey of what happens next there. I'm looking forward to it though because while I adore this and I'll never leave it, I do kind of miss the ring bound decorating die cuts, journal cards, dividers kind of stuff a little bit as well. I am happy though that I was able to use my um, tip ins in here. So I have, let's see, it just normally flips to it. Yeah. I've got my not to spoil the ending but everything is going to be okay tip in in here so that's nice to have those I've got a couple of here there's a foursome one in the back I think it should flip pretty simply to that is it there there it is just in the notes section so it's nice to be able to incorporate something in here but not quite the same as a full-on divider um, or dashboard so yeah I'm looking forward to doing that as well in the future all right guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video it was requested by a few people and there was a hundred percent yes on instagram as well for for seeing a setup in this planner so please let me know how you feel about it um do you miss the ring do you miss the kiki k videos um they're coming they are coming back or ring planner videos at least um they're just, I've just been a bit slack with them because as I said work has been absolutely hectic and I've been sick and whatever but I feel like it's getting back to normal I hope so <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna stop rambling thanks again for watching uh, I just love hanging out with you guys here on YouTube and this morning I did answer a whole bunch of comments that have been sitting there for a couple of months I'm so sorry for the delay um, but like I said it's been crazy Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks again, and I'll see you all again super, super soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.